All right, today I'm going to show you how to create a website in under 10 minutes. So here we are on my how to make a website tutorial at under30wealth.com. And step one, you're going to need to purchase hosting and a domain name. So hosting, I recommend using Bluehost. Uh, that's the hoster that I use. So we're going to click this link here and it's going to take you to bluehost.com and you're gonna click the big green button that says get started now now upon coming to this page you're gonna see three plans so you have the basic plan starting at 395 a month you have the plus plan starting at 695 a month and you have the pro plan at 1495 a month now you'll notice here websites the basic plan allows you to have hosting for one website whereas the plus plan you can host up to 10 websites and the pro plan you can have unlimited websites so I personally recommend the plus plan because odds are you're gonna come up with other domains over time that you're gonna wanna purchase and you're gonna wanna create you know some domains that are gonna be used as sale pages or lead pages for your website or you may end up coming up with multiple ideas for other websites you want to create so I would personally just go with the bigger plan that allows you 10 websites and hit select and it's gonna bring you to the sign up now page so you're gonna be able to enter a new domain if you don't have one already or if you have a domain you can bring it with you and just type it in here so in this case we're gonna type in a new domain name so foy property group dot com and we're gonna hit next and it's gonna tell me unable to continue because I already own this domain name so let's type in foy property group dot co and it's gonna say congratulations the domain you've requested is available now on the previous page I purposely typed in the first one dot com knowing that I owned it because I wanted to just show you that that error will come up so if a domain name that you want to purchase is unavailable then you're gonna get that rejection notification that I got now if you pick a domain name that is available it's gonna bring you through to this page like it just did for me saying congratulations so now you're onto the account information section so you're gonna to wanna to fill all this out with your first name, last name, your address, phone number, etc. And after you get done doing that, we're gonna move on to the package information. So now this is where you're gonna choose what kind of payment you want. So you could choose a 12 month plan where you buy hosting for just one year. You're gonna get it at 895. If you buy two years of hosting, you're gonna get seven ninety five a month and if you buy three years you're gonna get six ninety five so obviously the more months you purchase in advance the cheaper your monthly rates gonna be so let's go with the thirty six months since that's the cheapest we'll have hosting for three years there's a free setup fee free primary domain registration and then these are just a bunch of add-on sales we're gonna uncheck because you don't need them right now you can always purchase these later in your account settings dashboard if you decide you want any of these features but for now I would recommend unchecking them and then let's enter the billing information so that you can move on and officially purchase your hosting plan hit I confirm that you've read and agree to the terms of service and click submit once you do that it's going to take you to the next page where you're going to set up a password for your Bluehost account and after you create your Bluehost account it's going to log you into your cPanel so this is kind of the back end part of your hosting account where you've got all kinds of stuff you can utilize here you got email uh, there's all kinds of apps tools you can browse by category so website files you got your file manager domains you can manage so let's go to cPanel and next thing we're gonna do now is install WordPress
So I believe we're gonna go up here to my installs, but as you can see, these are more categories full of apps and things you can use if you'd like. There's free webinars, how-to videos, you can change your password, uh, renew your account, and update billing information down here in the preferences column. But to install WordPress, we're gonna go up here to my installs. Or actually right here, install WordPress, it already has it for us, here's an app. Alright, now we're going to want to click install WordPress. And it's going to bring us to this page here, where we're going to need to select a domain that we would like to install WordPress to. So you're going to search for the domain that you just purchased and you're going to click it. So in my case, foyproperty.group.com, and I'm going to go ahead and check domain. All right, now let's see. Show advanced options. There's nothing here to fix, so we'll uncheck that. I've read the terms and conditions. Go ahead and check that and then hit install now. And it's going to start installing in a second. But in the meantime, while it's installing, you're going to get an ad pop up letting you know that they are installing it and they would also like you to check out some of their themes and uh, some additional purchases obviously to make another sale off of you so you can scroll through here and look at these if you'd like any professional themes you want to purchase but later in my resources section of my website I've got my theme recommendations that I think are your best bet for installing on your website as far as customization and ease of use for a beginner so as soon as this gets done installing it'll say your install is complete so we're gonna click view credentials and your WordPress install is finished so you're gonna click view and we're gonna scroll here where it says access your new WordPress site and obviously We've got your URL here to click on that'll take you to your site. This will take you to your admin, which is where you log in to your WordPress. And then you've got your username and password, which I've blurred out here. So let's first go to your site and see what that looks like. It's going to, of course, say website coming soon because your website is not set up yet. So you're going to want to go to the admin page, which is what that other link will take you to. Anytime you want to go to your admin page, you're going to type in your URL and then it's going to be backslash WP dash admin, like so. But in this case, you can just click the button here, admin login, and it's going to bring you to this page. So you're going to want to type in your username and password. And then as soon as I do that, I will see you on the inside of WordPress. All right. So now you've logged into your WordPress dashboard and that pretty much wraps up this tutorial as you are all ready to use WordPress and start building your website. But real quickly before I go, two things you want to do. So first of all, there's posts. This is where you're going to come to create a new blog post or write a new article. You're going to go to add new and that's how you know, you're know you going to come up with a title and then start writing your article and then you're going to publish it. But for now we're going to go to all posts and you're gonna see this hello world so this is an example blog post they automatically have on here that you're gonna to wanna to trash you can view it if you'd like but it's just a junk post that you probably don't want on your website so you're gonna go ahead and trash that and then same thing with pages you can come create a web page here so you can create you know a home page you can create an about page or a contact page but we're gonna to go to all pages as well and get rid of the sample page so go ahead and hit trash alright once you've deleted that page you are all set to begin building your website you can play around on WordPress a little bit and try to figure it out if you'd like but in our next tutorial video we're gonna walk you through exactly how to use WordPress and how to get a theme as well as install some plugins and then write your first blog post so be sure to watch the next tutorial video and if you have any questions, 
Leave them below in the comments and take care. Be sure to stop by under30wealth.com slash resources. I've created a resource page for bloggers, online entrepreneurs, and beginners showing you all the cool tools and resources that I recommend you use to build a powerful WordPress website. I have how to start a blog. I've got free guides. I've got hosting recommendations, website, website themes, plugins I recommend you start in downloading. I have landing page, analytics, keyword research, email subscription lists, and more. So be sure to stop by under30wealth.com slash resources or simply come up here and click resources, blogger resources. Take care.